a quick shot, but it's a good shot. Warren. And it comes to Beverly driving down the lane, tosses it in for two. Warren steps right into it. That's a good look for somebody as adept as him, and he's unable to take it. Perry goes right through the heart of the defense. And my sense was when they did this, trying to get in their flow here. Struggle from long range. As they have done all season, to be honest with you. Brown drives in, and perhaps a bit more of that, where they looked most effective. There's Warren working with Conklin, up in the air, looking for some options. Good ball movement, finds Fevrier in the corner, and he strings another three. Uke throws it up, and it's jammed in by Hopkins. Warren backs out, looks to go again, has Conklin at the elbow. Nice pass, and Stone jams it in. Starting lineup for Nantes, as you can see there, is that uh, Conklin is in. And right on cue, makes it a 10-point game. Hopkins, Perry. Lobs up the alley oop and it's jammed in right on the money from Perry and Brown with the throwdown. This was a lovely pinpoint pass. Managed to keep it alive. Fortas. And Banyama fires up the three. Oh! What a shot from the young man. Again, they just ran the clock really nicely there. Good ball movement, hit it. Oh, there's a halfway shot. Oh, backed in. Well, just when you thought Olympia had hit the three to end the third. Fevrier probably had a little more time than he realized, but he heaved it from the halfway line and banged it in. Warren with the rebound. Wambanyana wants the alley-oop, gets the alley-oop and jams it in. It back late in the shot clock. Drives it in himself, tosses it up off the glass, and he's got himself a double double now. You can see how much and chance for one last non air score. Warren fires it up on the buzzer, strings to three, and that will probably do it. And there it is. Well, they fought hard with only eight players on tear, but they didn't quite have enough for Olympia.